My name is Alex Davis and I'm a film photographer and developer. My mom had um, some Kodak cameras. I'm assuming they were Kodak, I just remember her having like Kodak film. And I also have like a, like a rectangle, like a turquoise point and shoot camera. Um, so I was like young loading film into it because we didn't have digital or iPhones. And then I got reintroduced to it um, in 2016. I think mostly just for like the nostalgia. At the beginning of last year, um, I just went through like something just like super life changing. Um, and I was just looking for some kind of outlet. And I had past experience with film, but I think that there's just something with like the process of shooting film photos that I just enjoy much more. Like the process of it is just like super therapeutic because I was a writer for like a long time, but I think I just got tired of like hearing myself or like talking about the same thing over and over. So with film, I think that it just like brings me a certain kind of comfort. Grain. <laughs> I see a lot of people shoot digital photos and they'll add grain to their photos to give it like a certain texture or to make it, I think, film photos look like tangible, right? Because we know that we can, film can be printed. I mean, digital can be printed as well, but when we think about growing up, you would shoot film, you would get the physical photo. You know, it wouldn't be on your phone or like on the back of the screen. I think if anything, my vision is always gonna be authenticity. And I think that you get that with film. I know that some people edit their film photos, but I don't edit mine. Um, so if you see like dust from my scanner, like I pretty much leave it there. If there's like scratches on my film from me loading it, like I leave that there. Um, so it's always gonna be like, this is exactly how I saw it. Probably street stuff. So it doesn't have to specifically be like, I mean, it can literally be anything. So my mood could be different one day than it is the next. Like maybe I'm in the mood to like shoot certain cars that I see out or like, certain people's like yards or like a community. Maybe I'm like trying to get um, like a community, like the stores or the colors on the buildings or anything that's just like um, authentic. I have a digital camera because um, I got it just thinking like, oh, maybe it would be easier for certain stuff, um, for certain projects but I always end up going to film, even though it's like maybe more expensive having to buy film and like having to have it processed and scanned and stuff like that. Like when I look at film photos, it looks like I'm looking at like the print of the film photo because it has a certain texture. Um, even when people try and add like the dust and the scratches, you can just tell it's not like the same. I'm not really sure where the disconnect is or what it is that creates that, but I think you can definitely tell a difference. When I'm shooting film, right, because you don't know what it looks like when you're done, I really pay more attention. I think before, when I first started shooting film, when I would get the film back, I would be like, oh, like I wasn't paying attention to that. or. I would be like facing the sun or I would be whatever. So I'm way more conscious about how I'm composing the photo. I definitely want to do a photo book, but I think that it is me wanting to have like the right resources and like make it an actual like thing um, and come up with some kind of theme. Um, but yeah, I would want like a really nice photo book, like a coffee table, like a table book. I think it's Fuji Film C200. I'm not sure if there's a difference between just 200 and C200. I think there is, unless someone's duping me. Um, but I like it pushed to 400 because um, I like the tones. Um, it looks more like it looks more like I travel back in time. Like it looks more vintage to me. I like my medium format, my Pentax 645, but I only get 16 frames with it. 
So like I'll have to change the film more, like I'll have to stop and change the film or I have more conscious of like, okay, I can't take two and three frames of this photo. But if I have my Olympus OMG, um, I feel like I get more grain on it. I suggest film just because of the whole process of it. Um, I feel like you learn more about like composing a photo. Like if you're shooting film, you only have so many frames. You don't know what it's gonna look like. So it's just more exciting. Like the anticipation of, I don't know if I even got that or how it's gonna come out or if there's gonna be light leaks. Um, there's just way more character to the process and like the outcome of the photo. Uh, scanning. <laughs> because I may think like whenever, as soon as I develop my film, and I hang it to dry. Um, I'm using my phone to like go down and look to see like how they look. And I may, may be like, oh, these photos are sick. Like I got a lot of sick photos, but then I'll go and I'll scan them and I'll be like, why do they look like this? This is not what they look like. Gordon Parks is probably like my top top. Um, Cause I feel like he kind of had the same Obviously not the same goal as me as a white woman, but he shot a lot of community, he shot a lot of kids. He shot a lot of stuff to like shine a light on certain stuff. It wasn't like picture perfect, like portraits or whatever. There was like an underlying thing in his photos. It looks like promising. I noticed a lot of bigger campaigns like Nike. Um, and like other bigger brands are incorporating film again. So you'll see like sh stuff shot on like Super 8 or you'll see like, um, what's the name of that show? There's a new show that came out and they had like a person that was shooting like behind the scene photos and it was like film. Like he shot it on just like a range finder, like a normal just film camera. So I think that people are, I think it's like coming back again and it's being used way more mainstream. My name is Alex and I shoot film. <laughs>